Now this question 107 is related to ray optics and that too the concept of mirror and the value of magnification. You are supposed to match the column 1 and column 2. Match the corresponding entries of column 1 with column 2. Now you see here in column 1 you have been given certain values of magnification minus and plus values. You see minus simply means the mirror will be concave and negative magnification means it is a real image. The convex mirror is not making real image under ordinary circumstances. So and plus value means virtual image. Virtual image can be made by any one of them. So if it is m is equal to minus 2, the minus means it is concave mirror. So it will be matching you see b and magnification larger then one larger than one is not given by convex mirror it is given by the uh, concave mirror and uh, this negative magnification is meaning that it is a real image you understand negative magnification means real image and the value if it is more than one so it will be concave mirror so the column one entry a is matching with entry b and c so you can check in this uh, these options that it is only the second option that is marking like that. Rest of things you can match whether it is matching properly or not like B magnification negative negative means it will be real one half magnification and so on. So you will find that the option 2 is the most appropriate option for question 107. Now let us switch over to question 108. In this uh, question 108 which is based on uh, circular motion but still you can use the equation of uh, linear motion. It says that a particle of mass 10 gram moves along a circle of radius r. Mass is given, radius is given and it is moving with constant tangential acceleration. So A, normal acceleration also you can use. What is the magnitude of this acceleration? You have to calculate. Kinetic energy has been given. That means half mv square has been given and uh, by the end of second revolution. So let us suppose you are using the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s u initial is 0. So if you apply half m v square so here also I am multiplying as half m 2 a s instead of s you have 2 revolutions 2 revolutions means 2 into 2 pi r understand this is what you have to calculate. So Substitute the values of m, v, whatever, total kinetic energy has been given, mass has been given, you can calculate the value of acceleration a, this is the tangential acceleration. It comes out to be 0.1 meter per second square, understand? So for this question, I will be marking answer 2 and that is the answer to question 108. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 109. In this uh, question 109 which is a very simple and straightforward question you have a small signal voltage applied across an ideal capacitor and then you have following options. In the option you can see they are talking about the leading lagging of voltage and current and they are talking about power consumption. Now you see in capacitor the current leads the voltage by 90 degree. So in a, any of the option this has not been given. It is saying it is leading by 180 degree. It is saying that it is lagging by 90 degree. No, it is leading by 90 degree. So this is also not correct. Fourth option says that it is in phase. Wrong option. Third option says that over a full cycle, the capacitor C does not consume any energy from the voltage cells. This is true for ideal capacitor as well as ideal inductor. So this is the answer three correct answer for question 109. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 110. Now this uh, question 110, this is a question of pure rolling down an inclined plane. It says that a disc and a sphere of same radius but different masses roll off on two inclined planes of the same altitude and length. So which of the objects gets to the bottom of the plane first? Now you see this is a kind of question in which acceleration will be coming into picture. Acceleration is g sin theta upon ICM by mr square plus 1. Now you see moment of inertia about the center of mass will be involving mass. So ultimately mass will be cancelling out. So here if the first option says that it depends on their masses, this is not the correct option. Understand? So you have to compare. So whichever will be having lesser moment of inertia, that will be having larger acceleration and that will be reaching the ground first. So of the two you know that it is a sphere that has got lesser moment of inertia. So it will be reaching first and that is what is the requirement of the question. 
So, I am marking option 3 for question 110. Now, let us look at next question that is question 111. Now, this question 111 is based on thermal expansion. It is a very straightforward question and very common question. So, many times it has been asked. Coefficient of linear expansions of brass and steel are given to you alpha 1 and alpha 2. Lengths of brass and raw, steel rods that also has been given L1 and L2 respectively. Now, if difference of this length is maintained same at all temperatures, that simply means whatever is change in one rod, same is the change in length of the other rod. This is what is the crux of the question. It should be equal. Then only the options will be coming to you. Now you see they are saying L2 minus L1 is constant. That means whatever is change in length of first rod, same will be the change in length of another rod. Now what is the expression for change in length? It is alpha 1 L1 delta theta. This is equal to alpha 2 L2 delta theta. Delta theta will be cancelled out and this is alpha 1 L1 is equal to alpha 2 L2. This is what is the required condition for this question and I will be marking answer 1 for this question 111. Now, let us look at next question that is question 112. 